you say that both pains and flavours are things that are, uh, affect many of us, uh, and they're both areas of research that um, involve all the senses, um, and they're both areas where these tricks or illusions or knowing about the brain can help uh, design better interventions. And in the food sector, it could be if I if I know how the brain connects, what it sees and hears and smells and tastes, you can design these new healthier flavours. Um, and in the world of pain, when we do research there, we're using many of the same sorts of tricks or techniques to say, well, if we change what people see, well, that also change how much something hurts. So by looking at somebody with chronic regional pain, if I uh, show them a picture of their hand through a pair of binoculars just turned backwards, that'll make their hand look half the size it normally is. And does a small hand hurt less than and it turns out it does? And if these patients who we've been working with have no other form of treatment, uh, they actually say reduced swelling in the affected limb through this psychological intervention that is something that uh, you wouldn't think about doing unless you knew that how much the senses communicate and that sometimes our eyes dominate what we taste or what we feel. So whenever we're eating or drinking this cup of coffee now, and I said, how much do you like it? How bitter does it taste? You'd think, I think I'm just tasting it and it's what's going on in my tongue that I'm judging my brain saying that's so bitter, that's so much sweet, it's hot or not. But it turns out if I change the lighting, that would change the bitterness and how much you drank. Uh, no one believes it's happening to them. We all think we're tasting the thing in the glass or the cup, but in fact, the research time and again shows no. The lighting makes a difference. The sound levels here make a difference.